One of the really handy features on the National Geographic Topol software is the ability to trace out a route, break that route into GPS waypoints, and then use those waypoints on a GPS unit in the field. So I've traced out this route here in a black dash line on the summit. And I'm going to break that into waypoints that I could then transfer into a GPS unit if I want. So to do that, I'm going to right click on the route and click the GPS route button on the table that pulls up. This pulls up another box where I can, I have a, a bunch of different options here. I can break the waypoint into a specified number of points, I can get try to match the route, or I can space them evenly along the route, uh, such as every mile or another specified distance. I also can put a prefix for the names so I can keep the waypoints organized. Now you can see the red line that's very close to the route I traced out. And there are now 10 waypoints along the route. And I can take these onto a GPS unit receiver into the field to help me navigate to those waypoints. Now that I have those uh, waypoints set up, I'm going to go into the uh, Notes and Photos tool, which will pull up the summary table. You can see the elevation profile still in there. Both my uh, notes and photos are also in there. And through those. And when I go to the waypoint list, you can see that the 10 new waypoints have been added to this list. And I can actually go to the routes table and just those 10 waypoints are there. This is a, again, very handy tool, especially when you take it with a GPS into the backcountry. Go ahead and look at uh, printing one of our customized maps. So I've already got this map customized how I want it. And I'm going to go to the export tool here on the toolbar. I'm going to send it to the printer. There are a few options there. Now this red box comes up, and everything within the red box will be printed. So if I don't like where this is centered, like right now I'd, I'd like the trailhead and a little bit more parking, so I'm going to click and just drag the red box. Where I've got exactly what I want within it. I usually just go around and uh, check the borders and make sure I've got everything I want before printing. Now there are a few options to print. I can attach my notes. And when I click that, my camera icons will actually turn into numbered icons and those numbers will be keynotes at the bottom of the map when they print off. I can also change my orientation from portrait to landscape and vice versa. When I click on the more options button I get even more options for printing and exporting. Uh, grid labels, I can include the elevation profile so it prints off. I can include a header if I want. There are options for notes and photos. Uh, I can magnify the map accordingly. There are also additional settings. And most of these options can also be found in the preferences and settings pull down menu. Uh, the tools are also there uh, that control the traveling speed and the compass readings. You can get the, the degrees in the decimal, degrees minutes, seconds, go from magnetic north to true north, two other options.
Now I can also do a select one full page. So this will increase it so that the red box is quite a bit bigger now. And so that will fit one full page when I print off. I can scroll to the corners here of the red box. By, by using the scroll tool, I don't accidentally move the print area. So I've checked out my map and I'm ready to print and all I have to do is go over and hit the print button.